What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka Ajab, bringing you guys another episode of our Pixelmon series here on the Pocket Pixels White Server. If you guys are hyped for this episode, show your love that like button down below, and definitely make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. If you missed the last ep episode, I forgot to talk, if you missed the last episode, I encourage you guys to check it out, as we did take on the first gym leader and spoilers incoming. We got the first badge, the stone badge. Oh yeah. Ooh, what is, is that a Heracross? Is that a Heracross hiding up here? It's a level 13 Heracross. Oh my goodness, we must catch this thing. Very rarely do you come across. Oh, Asparagus is unable to battle. Okay, well let's battle it with Gyarados then. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. A level 13 Heracross. I feel like very rarely do you find Pokemon that are this good at this low of a level. And Heracross does have a, a small advantage against the Psychic Gym. Obviously, it's weak to Psychic types, but it does have the ability to, um, you know, at least be super effective with its bug moves. Okay, how do I beat this thing without knocking it out, I think is the real question here. Um, I guess I can go into Sushi and Intimidate it again, so we'll just keep intimidating it. But how do I weaken you? Doesn't, doesn't something on my team have a Rocky Helmet? Or no? I have no idea. Um, I mean, I, I could use tackle. I could use bite. Bite is resisted. Would bite knock it out? It's not gonna knock it out, dude. Nah, I knew it would knock it out. All right, all right. This is a good start, though. Fight of the hair across here. I'm a little nervous, though. Do I want to bite it again? I, I don't want to chance it. Let's throw a Pokeball at it. I don't want to chance it. Do I have net balls? No, I have quick balls, great balls, ultra balls. I have a lot of ultra balls, guys. Um, this is such a great way to start the episode, too. All right, let's throw, let's just throw an Ultra Ball at it because it's a Heracross, so, like, it's probably going to be pretty tough to catch. I'm so hyped that we just found this thing. Oh, my goodness. I hope it's really good. He's going to break out. Okay, so I know I can bite it again. I'm just worried that it'll knock him out, but I'm going to go for it. He's going to go for Endure. Perfecto. Perfecto, Heracross. You are a legend for using Endure, making it so I don't even have to worry. All right, let's Ultra Ball it again. Level 13 Heracross, man. I'm going to take this thing all day, baby. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Stay in the Pokeball, please. Please, little friend. Yeah, we caught it. Sweet. I definitely want to go check this thing out. Is this a dude's house over here? Yo, this guy's got like the forest house going on. I don't even think I saw this on the last episode. Um, I know I'm kind of just in the middle of nowhere. Can I take his stuff? No, I can't. Wow. Well, I oh, this is kind of cool, though. He like has a pretty sweet house going on here. Looks like there's not much going on inside yet, but pretty cool nevertheless. Hold on, let me just expand my screen here so I can see things. A little bit bigger. Cool. All right, man. So on this episode, I don't have, uh, truthfully, too much of an objective. I mean, we're kind of still focusing towards the idea of training up our team to get ready for the next gym, which is, of course, the Psychic type gym. Uh, there's a C. <gasps> I've never seen a C dot in the game before, guys, and I'm really hyped about it. Wow. Yo, I could totally catch this thing and turn it into a, a shift tree. And use Shift Tree in the gym. Do I wish to do this though? See, that's cool, man. Like, Shift Tree is definitely not the best Pokemon ever, but it is a dark type. And it very well has a chance to be good against the gym. Do I catch it though? Is the question. Do I catch it? I think we should catch it. Let's catch it. All right. Catch it, C Dot. I will intimidate you. And I will throw a quick ball at you. And you will stay in the quick ball. And that is how we are going to talk about this. That is it. We're not even going to discuss this matter. We captured CDOT. There you go. Look at us capturing Pokemon. I never... Is this another house or is this the same one I was just looking at? This guy's got a pretty intense house over here. I don't know how I didn't see all these houses before. This is really cool. And you got the water over here. This is like a really cool area. He's, this guy did a good job. I definitely need to build my house soon though because I'm running out of space here in my bag. We're going to have to figure that part out. But, um... Oh, and this is the house we were just at. So definitely a cool little neighborhood over here. I'm not sure... If I want to build my house over here, I mean, this is a kind of a cool biome though. We just found a C-Dot and a Heracross, which are both pretty sweet. And I want to go take a look at them and see if they're any good. Because if they're good natures or, you know, whatever it may be, that could be awesome. The problem with Heracross, like, if I could throw a Choice Scarf on Heracross, I would totally use it against the Psychic Gym. It's probably not going to be that good against Psychic types otherwise though. Because I know the Psychic Gym is going to have Alakazam. Like, I just know they're going to have Alakazam. Um, since it's a really easy Pokemon to get at that level. Uh, one of the Pokemon I was thinking about trying to get for the gym was either, um, like Ghastly, evolve it into Gengar, because Gengar would be really good. Um, or I guess another idea would be like Miss Magius would be really good. Some like Ghost types, because Ghost is going to be pretty good against Psychic. Uh, Steel is also another idea. Uh, if there's a Steel type Pokemon that 
would be able to take the hits from the psychic types so like a metagross type of thing or even matang would be pretty good is this a swamp Ooh, did we just cross over into a swamp there's some really cool pokemon on swamps yanmega would be really cool that would actually be really sweet and i think yanma learns ancient power at an early enough level where we would have yanmega before 35 i think it's like 31 or something something like that maybe well, we're in the swamplands. Might as well kind of stroll around. I don't know if we're going to find any... Yo, this is cool. I don't know if this guy, like, made this little... You could totally build, like, a dam here. That, that, that'd that be kind of cool. If there was people who were, like, all just building it up. This guy's got, like, a pyramid over here. What? Dude, I'm blown away. Like, I'm always blown away at how many people, like, find these places before me. I mean, I know the server's open, you know, 24-7 for anyone to play and stuff. But, like, this dude's... Look at this guy. He's got... It's pretty and stuff go. Please remember, African forms are only allowed to be 10 by 10, so please change your farm to fit the rules. Oh, I guess he's a rule breaker. He's got this nice little platform up here that he hasn't finished. He's got a couple Africorn farms. He's got some of these things. This guy's like a Pokeball master over here. Uh, Cause you can use those things to like, they like automatically do the flattening process for the Pokeballs and it's so much easier than taking like a hammer and doing it yourself. So much easier. This is a really cool area though. It's like right next to a forest, a swamp. There's that taiga uh, biome. Really cool stuff here. Definitely gonna have to do that uh, that stream soon, where I build it up. Build me up, buttercup baby. All right, treetops. We gotta find a Burmy too, guys. Oh my goodness. So Burmy is in this game. I saw someone with a Mothman at one point. I gotta find a Burmy, and Burmy spawn in a couple different places. The forest is one of the places, but it's only in dusk and dawn they spawn, so they are a little bit rare. And we have to find a male one, because only male Burmies evolve into Wormadam, or Wormadam. But uh, we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye out, because this is the right biome here. This is totally the right biome, too. Roof Forest, I think is what this is, right? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, this is a Roof Forest. So Roof Forest actually are really good for these. I, I don't know how to press these buttons. Okay. Yeah, Roof Forest is actually a good spot to find them, but the spawn is going to be so low since we're the only one here. I kind of have to just stay in the same area for a while. A Togetic! Whoa! That's pretty sweet. It wouldn't be very good against the Psyche types, but definitely really sweet. I'm surprised that we just found a Togetic. I want to go in this roof forest, though. I want to find a Burmy so badly. Burmy! If you guys don't know, Motham is my mascot Pokemon. It is my favorite shiny for sure. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon in general. It's just an amazing Pokemon. Actually, truthfully, it's a terrible Pokemon, if I'm being honest. Uh, Motham is absolutely dreadful when it comes to battling, but it's really, really cool. It's got such a great shiny, and it's one of those Pokemon that's often forgotten about. And I, I'm going to be the one to show him the love, you know? I'm going to be the one to show him the love. And I'm hoping that in Sun and Moon, there's a Pidgey. You're totally not a Burmy Pidgey. I'm hoping that in Sun and Moon, they put Bugcatcher Dan in the game. And Bugcatcher Dan has a Motham. That's what I hope for. And I doubt it'll happen, but a man could dream, right? A man could dream. Like, that would be so cool if they put my character essentially in the game for Sun and Moon. Like, I know they're not going to do it, but we could hope, right? We could hope. Okay. Well, I don't know what we're going to find over here. I kind of want to go back to the spawn area. I want to see if they made any changes. Is that the same Pidgey I just walked by? I think it is. I want to see if they made any changes to the leveling by the Ghost Gym. I also want to take a look at... Um, the two Pokemon we just captured, because we got the C Dot and we got the um, the Heracross, and both of those could be good. Like I could totally see myself evolving C Dot, maybe even getting um, getting a Leaf Stone, things like that. So let's do that. Let's go Warp Poke Center. I'm sure we could find this area again. It's not really that big of a deal. I mean, it's relatively far away, but it's not it's not really that big of a deal. Um, and let's take a look, because I really want to see what these guys are working with, man. We could have some cool stuff here. All right, so let's uh, let's put Larvitar and Chimchar in the in the box. Let's grab these two here. I can press the right buttons and see what we're working with. All right, so here's C Dot, early bird. It uh, doesn't have any good moves, and he's a naughty nature, which actually isn't bad. It's really not bad at all, if I'm being totally honest. And Heracross is a serious nature, which is normal. He's enormous, though, so he's actually pretty big. Uh, he doesn't have the, the greatest moves, though. Let's take a look at our Heracross here and see how it looks. He's supposedly enormous. He is a really big Heracross, though, like if you if you compare. He's a pretty big Heracross, and uh, that's pretty cool, man. So I don't know if we're going to train these guys up just yet. I mean, I kind of want to trade up the C Dot, though. I'm going to be real. Let's let's train up the C Dot a little bit, and uh, we'll get him we'll get him leveled up. 
and get him right of the right. We can evolve him into a Nuzleaf, I think, right away. Shouldn't be too hard. I could just train him up against some some random wild Pokemon. We'll get him into a Nuzleaf, and we should be able to evolve him. I, I have to look up its level pool, though. I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'm not going to do it all in this episode. I'll give him to Nuzleaf this episode, probably. But I'll have to look up his level up pool just to see um, if... If he's a shift tree, what moves is he going to learn? Because if, if he learns like Sucker Punch and stuff, that is going to be really important. Like Sucker Punch is going to be really important for me to be able to beat, you know, the gym. Because if I had Sucker Punch, oh my god. Like, I honestly feel like Life Orb Sucker Punch from shift tree probably can beat like half of the Psychic Gym, I would guess. If I had to guess. I, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But let's see if they changed the leveling system for the Ghost types yet. Uh, it doesn't look like they did. I, I did request it. I'm hoping that they do it. You know, I was like, hey, I know these are gyms, and I know they're set encounters, but can you guys, like, adjust them? So that way you don't, like, start the game. Because, like, think about it. If you just start off in the server, this is, like, right next to the first gym. This is, like, right near the spawn. And these Pokemon are, like, such high level, you can't even obtain them. And it'd be so cool if you could have, like, Chandelure or whatever at the beginning of your Let's Play. That'd be really sweet. All right, well, let's see what's going. All right, let's just uh, train up a little bit here. Let's take on some of these random things. What can I battle with my Nuzleaf here? The hit him on top. Hit him on top. Um, let's battle with Nuzli. Let's do it. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Okay, you shall battle against level 26 Geodude. And I'll just switch and go into Skywalker. And let's use Magnitude. Don't use Magnitude. Rock Blast. That's fine. I can take that. And I'm going to hit him with the uh, powerful, powerful Force Palm here. Boom. Para. Uh, he went for Magnitude. Oh, he lived! Wow. I'm blown away that we lived that. I think we died to... Uh... Yeah, we died. But that's okay. See, so yeah, I grew to 10, grew to 11, grew to 12, grew to 13. I think he evolves at 14, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty sweet. Learns nature, power, or whatever. This Pokemon is already in battle. Okay, I will battle this one then. Battle me. Okay, uh, I'm going to go into Sushi here because I think I could just Surf. Even though he could Rock Move. He goes for Defense Curl. Predicted that. No problem. Let's go for Surf. Boom! He's got sturdy. Defense curl. Boom! Surf. C dot grew to 14 and it's evolving into a Nuz Leaf. You know what I'm gonna do here? Kind of simultaneously. Super awesome. I'm just gonna open it up on my phone. Uh, Nuz Leaf. Let me look it up. Nuz Leaf. Uh, Pixelmon. Pixelmon. And let's look here. I wanna see its move pool. Uh, did he evolve? Your C dot evolved into a Nuz Leaf. Let's look at him. Nuzleaf. Hey, my man. What's up, Nuzleaf? Okay. So Nuzleaf's level up moves. He learns Fake Out at 19, which is actually pretty good. And then at 31, he learns Faint Attack. Tell me he's not even going to learn Sucker Punch, dude. So he learns Faint Attack and, and Fake Out. So those are pretty decent moves. But what does he learn if he's a Shift Tree? He learns Leaf Tornado at 19. And at 49, he learns Leaf Storm. Um, am I really missing out on anything by evolving him early, though? Um, I don't really miss out on anything, I would say. Once I get to level 31, we get Faint Attack. And realistically, that's going to be about as good as it gets for him. Because uh, he's not going to learn Sucker Punch, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, maybe able to use like some sort of move tutor type of thing. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, let's do some adventure in here. Let's go do some... Actually, let's go heal first. Warp, Pokey, Center. Let's go heal up really quickly. We got our Nuzleaf right of the rock and roll. We're gonna keep it rolling. We're gonna do some exploring here, see what we can find. And maybe we'll find some new Pokemon. We're trying to scout out to figure out the Pokemon that are gonna be used for the next gym and also just kind of do some adventuring, you know. But um, which way do we go? Let's go this way. Where does this take me? It says rip. It doesn't take me anywhere. I guess I need to finish it. Um, let me make myself a little faster and let's go. Let's go to the top of this mountain and see what is up here. I know I've been up here before. This is where we found... There was like a Machop up here before, I think. Right? There was like a fan pee inside. I don't know. Nothing there now. I don't know if this is a gym or what this is, but... Nothing going on. We got the big store over there. There's the... Is this the... What is that? Oh, that's the, just the ghost gym. There's a Geodude. There's a Graveler. Alright. What else are we gonna find? What else are we gonna find? 
I don't know, man. I'm trying to like brainstorm about what Pokemon would be really good against the Psychic type. Because the thing is, you know they're going to have all the TMs and stuff. So that's why like Dark types are really useful and stuff. But they can, they're going to still have Focus Blast. Still going to have Focus Blast. Shell Smash Cloister? That would be sweet. What is that thing out there? Is that just... I don't know. What is this? A Krabby? Hey, Krabby. Slowpoke. Slow... Honestly, Slowbro would be pretty good. I could see Slowbro being pretty good, but I don't think it evolves. I think it evolves at like 37 or something. I don't even remember, to be honest. I don't even remember. And all the ice types up there are just going to be too high of level. But let's take a look on the other side of the ice area. Let's see what we got over here. Because this is... I actually found Cloisters over here last time. But I wasn't recording. I was just playing around. So maybe there'll be a cloister over here. I definitely still want a, a shelter on my team. I feel like shelter's really good. Even if we have Gyarados already, I don't care. Because you get priority with Ice Shard. I mean, I don't actually know what the level ups are for this game, but... Am I stuck now? I don't have permission. Am I stuck? Alright, let's try this. I think I can get out. Oh, wow. Look at that. I don't need permission to get out of there, baby. That was crafty. That was crafty. I don't think there's anything going on over here, guys. Ay ay ay. Well, let's go back. There's no reason to be over by the ice gym. There's nothing exciting. I don't even know if the ice gym's open. Like, if anyone runs it. Deli Bird. I wonder how many people use Deli Bird in their Pixelmon adventures. I feel like it's such a bad Pokemon. <laughs> uh, what is that? Is that a Pokemon? No, it's just a lantern. I want to find a Skarmory still. I still want to find my Skarmory. Is that it? <gasps> what level are you? What level are you? You would be lovely because I know you're going to learn Sucker Punch. Yes! Ah, I love it. I love it. No, you stay away from me, Starly. Okay. All right. We are in a battle with the Absol. Can I bite it or will I knock it out? I don't know. Let's go into Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf is ready for this moment. Nuzleaf is ready for this moment. Leer, that's fine. Nuzleaf is so ready for this. Nuzleaf, go for nature power and don't knock him out. Okay. Turn into Seed Bomb. All right. I didn't know what to expect there. I had no idea what to expect. Let's go for the Dust Ball because it's nighttime and I feel like that's how this works. I don't know for sure though. Stay in the Pokeball Absol because you would be amazing for this gym. Your attack set is insane and if you get... ah. And if you get Sucker Punch, which I feel like you do, you are just going to be amazing. Let's try another Dust Ball just because it'll look cool. If it doesn't stay in the Dust Ball, it's not a big deal. I have to go. Look, I'm going to look up on my phone here. Absol Pixelmon real quick and see. Did he stay in the Pokeball? Absol Pixelmon. Let's see what his level up pool is. Did I catch him? Yeah, we caught him. Sweet. Dude, we caught three Pokemon this episode. This is amazing. And let's see here. He learned Sucker Punch at level 52. Which is ridiculous, so we're not really going to benefit from that. But he does learn Bite at level 20, he learns Double Team, he learns Swords Dance. So he could be pretty effective. He's a little slow, but he hits really hard. If only he got Sucker Punch earlier. Well, let's see what stats he's got. He's Gentle Nature, which is just kind of bad, but he's got Quick Attack, he's got Faint Attack, he's got Leer. He's got the Super Luck, which makes he's going to have a lot of crits. We could definitely work with this thing. We could definitely work with them. We got a couple of options here. We're starting to collect the options that we need. Look at this thing. We have an Absol, baby. Collect the options that we need to try to try to take on this gym here. There's some Starlies. That's cool. We're just going to keep searching. What is this? A Clefairy. There's no Fairy types in this game. So Clefairy is not very good. Not very good. What other Pokemon are there that I could catch? Let's find some. That was cool that we just found an Absol right there. I'll take it. I'm hyped about it. All right, let me drop off some of these blocks, man, because I don't need these things. I don't need you stone. I kind of want to keep them all stone, though, but I'll go this way. I gotta build a house. That's three Pokemon. I feel like this is the most Pokemon I've ever caught in an episode. <laughs> I'm so picky when it comes to catching Pokemon, guys. Oh, why can't you be a lower level? Why can't it be the case? I really wish, um... I really wish I learned Sucker Punch earlier. I should try to find a Pokemon that learned Sucker Punch early. Psychic Pokemon would be good against Psychic Pokemon too, so let's go see what's going on over here. Is that a boss Giraffe Egg? Should I beat it? Should we try it? I feel like we should try it. I mean, it's a Giraffe Egg. I feel like I could beat it. Let's try it. You ready for this, buddy? I'm ready for you, Giraffe Egg. 
Level... Oh, I battled the wrong thing. I ran into the slowpoke instead of the giraffe rig. Alright, at least I escaped. Let's battle the giraffe rig. Okay, he's level 35. I got my intimidate off. I'm gonna dragon rage. He's gonna astonish. It's fine. Don't flinch me. He flinches me. But I have the lefty, so that's really good. I'm gonna dragon rage. He's gonna astonish again. And I dragon rage. Awesome. We might actually be able to beat this thing. And you get really good items from bosses, so this could be good. Well, not always good items, but sometimes good items. He flinched me again. He's flinched me two out of three times. It's 30%. That was a crit. There's the Dragon Rage. Okay, all I need to do is hit him one more time. Astonish again. Is that all your... That's the only move you get? Come on. Astonish again. Stop flinching me! <laughs> what the heck, Giraffe Rig? Why are you so annoying? He crits me again. He flinches me again! Am I facing the Hacks God Giraffe Rig here? Okay, what did I get? I got, I learned Leer. This is not, not interested in that. I got Silver Powder, Mud Slab, and Revival Herb. Yo, honestly though, Silver Powder increases the amount of damage bug type moves. No, does it, is that what it does? I have no idea what Silver Powder even does. What does Silver Powder do? I have to look it up. But we got Mud Slap. I mean, I guess that's cool, right? I don't know. Hey, we beat a boss Pokemon though, that, that's cool. So these guys are all right. Oh, there's a boss not to. <gasps> Skarmory, what level are you? What level are you, Skarmory? What level are you? What level are you? 30, 26! 26, the Skarmory of our dreams! It has answered our prayers! Skarmory! Battle, <laughs> battle me! <laughs> battle me, Skarmory! Oh my goodness! We're gonna battle him. I could Dragon Rage all day. He's gonna Air Cutter. That can't flinch me. Dragon Rage does a lot. It does a lot, but I, I think I can tackle. It's not going to knock him out. He's going to faint, which has priority, of course. Tackle, it doesn't do anything, but it's okay. Yo, this thing is going to be sick if I can catch this thing. It's going to sand attack. Tackle. All right. Yo, Crustle, though? We could get a Crustle. I see a Dwebble down there. Lots of cool Pokemon hanging out around here. Tackle. I'm just trying to weaken this thing as much as I can so I don't waste too many Pokeballs on him. It's going to leer. Tackle. Weaken him in a little bit more. I know this is a really painful and slow process, but we gotta do it to catch the Skarmory. Okay, he's in red. This is where I, I stop the shenanigans. I mean, I could go into Asparagus here and try to put him to sleep, which I'm gonna do, just because I don't think there's anything he could really do to me. I don't think he's got Whirlwind, and if he does, I'm gonna cry. Faint. Sleep powder, put him to sleep. All right, he is totally not gonna break out now. We got Ultra Balls, let's do this. I think I just found the Skarmory of my dreams, level 26. Stay in the Pokeball, Skarm. Yes! Oh my goodness, we caught so many cool Pokemon on this on this episode. What do we got here? Keen Eye, Lax Nature, so boost his defense, minus special defense. Honestly, not even mad about that. Not even mad about that. There was another, that's what I was looking at. I saw that there was a Natu, a boss Natu. I want to battle it. I want to battle it. It's level 36. I'm going to just Dragon Rage and hope. Nightshade, oh, he does 36 damage every time. Yikes. All right, let's go into Asparagus here. I know he could like pretty much beat me, but I'm gonna leech seed. Future sight, that's fine. Leech seed, awesome. Okay, so we're getting some health back. I know the future sight's coming, so I'm gonna go into Absol. See what he's gonna do. He nightshades, that just knocks out, and I think that cancels out the uh, the other thing, the whatever it's called. I'm gonna go for nature power. He's gonna nightshade, and we live. Nature power doesn't do much, but it, it gave us a little bit of health. Okay, Future Sight doesn't do anything. I don't know why it took so many turns for Future Sight to show up, but I'll take it. There's a Night Shadow. He's going to knock us out. It's fine. I'm going to go into uh, Skywalker here because we are getting... Uh... I'm going to copycat his Nightshade. He's going to Future Sight. Well, I use copycat on it, so it's whatever. Um, I'm going to Quick Attack this time just to get some damage off on him. That actually did a solid amount. He's going to Nightshade us. I get health back, and I can just Quick Attack here, I think. We beat him. We got an eject button, an X attack, and a greet mail. Oh, baby. Let's go. We are on fire. An eject button. So this is how we got to get... This is how we got to get items, guys. We just got to take on all these... Uh, there's a shuckle. You don't messle with shuckle, man. You don't messle with shuckle. This has been just the greatest episode ever. I'm so happy. Is that a Clefable? What are you doing in the wild, Clefable? Oh, is that a Staraptor? What is life right now? Why is there a Staraptor up here? What level are you, dude? What are you doing up here, Staraptor? Don't you have other things to do with your life? What are you doing? 
I'm not gonna battle you. You'll destroy me, dude. I'm not even gonna lie, but I love Straptor. I really do. It's a very strong Pokemon, too. Brave Bird Spam. Ooh, what is this? A Rufflet. Are you shiny? You look kind of kind of sparkly. No? Okay. Well, I figured I'd just check with you. You know? There's the Shuckle. Dude, this has been hype. I want to find some more of these bosses, though. Like, this is how we got to do it, dude. We got to get some super awesome items this way. If we just go to all the gyms and face the bosses, like, or whatever they're called. Yeah, I think they're called boss trainers. I don't even know. That's what you have to do, though. And you know what? Probably no one... There's probably no boss ones by Gym 1 because everyone already faces them. You know what I mean? But, yo, we just got so many sweet Pokemon. I'm excited. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, War Poke Center. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and let's heal up. We caught a Heracross, a Skarmory, an Absol, and a Nuzleaf on this episode. Like, that is just ridiculous. And we beat two bosses. Oh, my goodness. I was not sure what to expect out of this episode, but I'm a very excited individual now. I mean, look at this squad now. I'm going to take a break with Nuzleaf here. I'm going to put Absol away, too. I'm going to keep Skarmory there for now. But we got a pretty interesting squad here. This is my adventure squad for now, so let's uh, let's let's adventure. Um, I kind of want to go to Gym 3 and see if I could beat some bosses. Let's do that. Warp, Gym 3. Let's see if there's any, um, any boss Pokemon standing on that side of that. Maybe we could battle those, too. This could be a really good way to... Oh, Gym 3 is over here. Okay, let's check it out, man. Maybe if I go on top of the um, the ice mound over here, there'll be some boss ice Pokemon up top, and I can try to beat one of them to get um, to get items. Because I think the harder they are, the more you get from them, too. So, like, that's cool. Come on, skip it. Let's do this. All right. What do we got going on? Some swine ups. There is a boss Celio, just as uh, I figured would happen. So, let us use my friend... Um, let's see if I can battle it. I want to battle the just the Celio though. Sushi, battle the big Celio right there. I don't know why it doesn't work. Okay. Is this the one? I don't think this is the one. This is a level 31. I couldn't escape. He's gonna roar beam me and that's gonna destroy me. Um. Do I want to run again? Okay, I escaped. Alright, I want to battle this thing. It's still not the right one though. I don't think. I mean, maybe it is. I'll just beat it anyway, just in case. I have no idea. I'm just going to Dragon Rage. I don't think it's the right one, though. But maybe I could be wrong. I, I thought it would say something in the corner, but that's okay. Let's just uh, Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage does a good amount. He Aurora Beams, us, which does a good amount, too. But I can Dragon Rage again, and I think I could live one more Aurora Beam. And I can. I think all I have to do is click Dragon Rage and we beat it. Sweet. I got Lucky Punch and Mega Drain, baby! Let's go! Oh my goodness, it is such a great day when this happens. It gets me so hyped. It gets me so hyped to beat these little dudes. Okay, uh, I need to figure out a place to put all my stuff. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's get rid of the gunpowder. I don't need this stuff. Let's get rid of these apricorns, man. I mean, I, I want to keep them, but it is what it is. Let's get rid of... Do I really need Greet Mail? I mean, maybe I'll give it to someone. Um, I don't even know what Nether Quartz is. I can get more wood later. No big deal. Sweet. Sweet. That was amazing. That was amazing. Let's go to Warp Pokey Center. Um, that's good to go. Let's heal up here. I think that is where we are going to wrap up for today, guys. That was uh, pretty intense, man. Very, very intense. I'm thinking the next episode has got to be the house building. Maybe I'll do it on stream. Maybe I'll do it just on my own time. I will see. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see it on stream and stuff, but... That is that, man. That was super hype, guys. We finally got the Skarmory. We got a Heracross, which I really wanted. We got Absol. We caught a uh, Sea Doll, which we evolved a Nuzleaf. Very cool stuff. I will take all of that all day, every day. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. That's going to be for me, guys. My name is Dan. I'll talk about A-Drop, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.